In a city of shining skyscrapers, luxurious resorts, and extravagant lifestyles, a dark truth is concealed beneath the glitz and glamour. Dubai is the essence of wealth, where dreams seem to come true and the unimaginable becomes reality. But is everything as it appears in this desert oasis? Behind the costume of prosperity lies a reality that few dare to acknowledge. It's a tale of stark contrast, a tale of wealth and poverty, inequality, and exploitation. While some revel in luxury, an army of invisible workers toiling in the shadows, their voices drowned out by a city's glittering disguise. They are the backbone of Dubai's dignity, often forgotten and marginalized. Moreover, beneath the gleaming skyscrapers, strict laws and cultural norms given to every aspect of daily life, freedom and personal liberties are challenged, and the illusion of a progressive society begins to fade. From controversial construction practices to human rights concerns, Dubai's dark side emerges, raising questions about the actual cost of its extravagant lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the dark truth of Dubai, an illusion of luxury. Before proceeding, spare a moment and subscribe to the channel. Dubai's past was buried under the sand, metal, glass and steel as the city transformed into a modern metropolis. The Dubai Museum, the oldest standing institution in the town, provides a glimpse into this buried history. Located two levels below the ground, the museum serves as a reminder of Dubai's humble beginnings and rapid development fueled by the discovery of oil and gold. During the late 1960s, when the British left the region, the United Arab Emirates UAE, was starting to realize the immense wealth hidden beneath its desert sands. The local population, essentially camel dwellers, needed more knowledge and education to harness the newfound wealth effectively. In a bold move, Sheikh Maktoum, an Emirati leader, invited foreigners from neighboring countries to help transform the UAE into a more livable place. In exchange for their expertise, Saik Maktoum offered these foreigners a tax-free lifestyle in the desert. This ambitious vision attracted generations of non-Emirates to call Dubai their home, resulting in a multicultural society and a thriving city known for its modernity and prosperity. The transformation of Dubai from a humble fishing village to a global hub is a testament to the visionary leadership and the efforts of the Emirates and expatriates who have contributed to the city's growth and development. Dubai, known for its towering skyscrapers and luxury lifestyle, holds a dark truth beneath its glamorous facade. While it attracts the wealthy and tourists seeking luxury, there is an uncomfortable reality that we must confront. Most of Dubai's population consists of foreign immigrants, many of whom come from South Asian countries in search of better opportunities and a chance to escape poverty. They see Dubai as a place where dreams can come true, a foreign land promising riches and prosperity. However, the reality for these migrant workers is far from the glamorous image we associate with Dubai. Upon arrival, their passports are often confiscated, trapping them in a cycle of exploitation. Instead of the promised city of wealth, they are shipped off to the outskirts to places like Sonapur, where they endure inhumane living conditions. These workers face minimal access to necessities like power and clean water. They live in overcrowded and unhygienic conditions, far from the comforts they envisioned. Their dreams are shattered, and they find themselves forced to work on the projects that fuel Dubai's growth, all while facing the threats of fines, imprisonment, and the deportation if they refuse to comply. The harsh reality is that the city's grandeur is built on the broken backs of these workers. They toil day after day, sacrificing their well-being and dignity. Tragically, the unbearable living conditions and despair often lead to a high rate of suicide among Asian immigrants. Yet, visitors and residents often turn a blind eye to these hardships, blissfully unaware of the human cost behind the city's lavish lifestyle. Our collective responsibility is to confront this dark truth, question the sacrifices made for our enjoyment, and strive for a more equitable is a labor framework prevalent in several Gulf countries, including Dubai and the United Arab Emirates (UAE). It is a system that governs the employment of migrant workers, particularly those from low-income countries, in various sectors such as construction, domestic work, and hospitality. Under the kafala system, a migrant worker's legal status and employment are tied to a sponsor or employer who acts as a guardian or sponsor for the worker. The sponsor is responsible for the worker's visa, residence permit, and legal status in the country. This system creates a hierarchical relationship where the sponsor holds significant control and authority over the worker's employment and living conditions. The sponsor is responsible for obtaining and renewing the worker's visa and residence permit. The worker is dependent on the sponsor for legal authorization to stay and work in the country. If the worker's contract is terminated or their sponsor fails to renew their visa, they may become undocumented and subject to deportation. The sponsor has a significant control over the worker's employment conditions, including wages, working hours, 
accommodation, and access to fundamental rights and benefits. This power dynamic can lead to instances of exploitation, non-payment of wages, excessive working hours, and poor living conditions. Migrant workers under the kafala system often face limited legal protections. Critics argue that the kafala system contributes to labor abuses, human rights violations, and modern-day slavery-like conditions. Dubai society can be seen as divided into three distinct strata, each heavily reliant on the others. The first stratum comprises of the immensely wealthy emirates known for their extravagant lifestyles. It's not uncommon to witness scenes of emirates driving luxury cars with exotic animals as pets, despite the prohibition on such ownership. The second stratum consists of affluent foreign workers who hold high positions in the country. These individuals, including CEOs, bank managers, and project heads, often gather at sports bars to discuss their home country's political situations and unwind with drinks. However, beneath the surface lies the third stratum, comprised of the poor foreign workers who are often overlooked and neglected. These individuals endure grueling 12-hour shifts and the scorching temperatures on construction sites in the desert. Their living conditions are controversial, with cramped spaces shared among four to five workers. Despite their challenging circumstances, these workers have played a crucial role in shaping Dubai's glittering skyline. Behind the polished glass facades of this concrete jungle lies a darker reality, modern-day slavery that is painfully evident. This contrast between the extravagant wealth some enjoy and the hardships others face is an undeniable aspect of Dubai's social fabric. It serves as a reminder that while the city may appear as an illusion of luxury, underlying truths deserve acknowledgement and attention. After knowing their behavior towards the immigrants and workers, it is not surprising that Dubai and the wider UAE have faced criticism from international human rights organizations for the restrictions on freedom of speech, expression, and assembly. The government maintains tight control over public discourse and political dissent. Media outlets, including online platforms and social media, are subject to regulations and censorship. Journalists and bloggers criticizing the government or raising sensitive issues can face legal repercussions, including imprisonment. Furthermore, their legal system has been criticized for its lack of due process and arbitrary detention. Human rights defenders, activists, and critics of the government have been targeted, leading to their arrest and in some cases, allegations of torture during their imprisonment. The lack of transparent and fair trials raises concerns about protecting fundamental human rights and the rule of law. While Dubai has made progress in promoting women's rights compared to some other countries in the region, gender inequality persists in various aspects of society. Women face challenges in terms of legal rights, workplace discrimination, and societal expectations. The legal system, influenced by Sharia law, can disadvantage women in matters of divorce, child custody, and inheritance. Spousal abuse and domestic abuse remain significant issues, and the reporting and prosecuting of such cases can be complex. In the workplace, gender discrimination and pay gaps continue to limit women's career opportunities and advancement. Traditional gender roles and societal norms often dictate expectations around marriage, family, and behavior, constraining women's freedom and choices. While efforts have been made to promote gender equality and empower women through initiatives like education and employment opportunities, further progress is needed to ensure equal rights, protections, and opportunities for women in Dubai. Women in Dubai often face challenges in the workplace, such as limited access to higher level positions and lower wages compared to their male counterparts. Despite an increasing number of women joining the workforce, there is still a significant gender pay gap and women are underrepresented in leadership roles. So this was it guys, this was all about the dark side of Dubai, which the masses don't know. Remember that behind every gleaming skyscraper and lavish lifestyle are untold stories of sacrifice, resilience, and the urgent need for change. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting documentaries.